Okay, folks, there it is. This is my homemade ground plane. I'll put uh, longer receivers. Actually, not receivers. The plane part, the bottom part that I just put on there is, is called the plane. And I think that might have been what was causing the problem. I don't know. Uh, so we'll see. Probably the first thing you notice about this thing is it's not very high in the air. It needs to go up a couple of more feet so that it clears the top of my roof line. And that's I'll do that eventually. But for now, this is all I got to work with. This is an existing mount that the uh, that a TV microwave antenna was connected to at some point, so I just reused that. But it needs to go up in the air higher, and I want to point out that it is grounded. This is a grounding wire. I don't know what gauge that is. It's connected to the mast. Yeah, my antenna's not very straight, is it? <laughs> now, I got some adjusting to do. Anyway, the ground wire does go down here into the ground. I pounded a uh, eight foot long copper grounding rod into the ground a couple of years ago, and it's about four inches under the ground, so it's well into the ground. It, this ground should be good. I don't know how you would test to make sure that your ground is good or not, but I know without it, it won't work, so. Uh, all right, let's go in the house and get the, uh, turn the radio on and see, uh, connect it back up and see, uh, see how we're doing. Okay, I've got this old 148 hooked up now. Uh, to the newly improved antenna, I hope. Uh, the problem I was having, my SWR meter um, was, uh, my SWRs were way off. Uh, on a scale of one to three, they need to be as close to one as possible when you key it up. Uh, the closer to three it is, the, the worse the thing is. Uh, my understanding is the SWR standing wave ratio is measuring the um, the power that is coming from the radio going out through the antenna. And you want all that power to go out, evidently, um, to, to make it match up. So the closer to three it is, the worse the thing is. Uh, uh, I was basically having a, about a two and a half. Uh, on all all my channels. You test on channel 1, channel 20, and then channel 40. It's a 40 channel radio, AM anyway. So, um, so let's go ahead and give this a shot and see where we're at. Nobody's dying to know here. So we got to calibrate this. Uh, we're going to be doing this meter down here first and we'll switch to this meter. Okay, calibrating it. Now switching it to SWR, and oh my goodness, it went way down. It is way down to like two. Yeah, it's uh, that's good. So now let's uh, let's run this meter up here. Same thing. We're gonna set it, key it up, calibrate it, and it's like right on there. Oh my goodness, look at that. It's down to almost one. That seemed to have solved my problem. So now let's head up here to channel 20. Another radio, uh, another radio check channel here. So uh, again, calibrate it. I'm working on this meter down here. If my hand's not in the way, turn it to SWR and it's way down. It's even down a little bit lower. How cool. All right. Skip is coming in. That's why you hear these aren't local people. These are from somewhere else. Okay, let's do this one real quick. Calibrate it. Read it. Oh, look at that. It's just a one. Well, it's it's a quarter of the way from 1.5 down to one. It's almost a one. 
That is cool. This. Ooh. And we'll go up here to 40 and test it, but I know everything's going to be good. Again, calibrate. Working on the meter down here. And it is down low as well. Turn it back to RF. <clears throat> calibrate this meter. Look at that. It went up a little bit. That is cool. Well, I seem to have solved my SWR problem, which is great. So now let's look at our power coming out. Uh, I don't know if either. This is not a real expensive meter. Uh, the, the meter inside the radio, who knows if that's accurate or not. So let's go ahead and check this. Um, see, how do you do it? Um, well, it's on 10 watts. Yeah, 10, 100, 1,000. I'm assuming this radio has not been modified at all. I don't know. I have no clue. Uh, bought this at a garage sale years ago. Still in the box, but I have no history on it at all. I'm assuming it's bone stock, so let's go ahead and key it up here. See what our dead key is. Okay, according to the meter down here, it's around 8 and the meter up here it's about three and a half watts it appears audio audio hello hello we got some swing there come on okay that's channel one do the same thing dead key is uh about three and a half watts or a little bit lower here Audio testing testing audio hello one 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 looking pretty good it's got a little bit of swing to it <clears throat> so my guess would be that this radio has not been modified tweaked and peaked and all the rest so um, that's cool so I guess all we all uh, got some things to do right now but uh, come back here a little bit later and see if I can make some contacts. Uh, local and maybe some long distance contacts so that's it for now okay we're going to try to make a local contact here I'm on channel 17 which is a trucker channel in this part of the country uh, I'm pretty close to I-5 here a couple of miles away uh, that's the main interstate leading from Southern California into Washington so uh, a lot of truck drivers out there so I'm going to kind of pretend to be a truck driver here uh, asking for directions and see if I can't make a contact all right <clears throat> all right here we go how about it out there southbound got a copy How about it out there southbound? Anybody get a copy? Yeah, boy. Hey, I'm uh, looking for that Canyonville exit. I think it's heading north, isn't it? Yeah, that's in 99. I copy that. Thank you very much, and have a good day. Yeah, you do the same. All right. Well, that uh, went pretty well. At least I know it's working pretty good. Um... Uh, Generally, truck drivers don't like to do radio checks. Uh, you get on here, ask them how it sounded, and they get kind of a little bit torqued about that. So, uh, anyway, there's our first contact.